So in this series on how to become an Amazon associate, we have gone through how to create the account, how to properly fill out your tax information. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to provide your payment details for Amazon so that they can pay you that sweet money that you earn through your referral links. So let's get to it. So now on our demo, um, Amazon associate account, you can see we are prompted to provide or submit our payment information. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to take us to this place where we can click to add a bank and you can see all the, all the payments that we can receive. But I'm for the purpose of this video, I'm going to add a us bank to my associate account and then we can just use that but if you have other banks like other bank accounts like your gbp or any other country bank account you can use the same method and add them and then assign them to the proper to the appropriate um, country so i'm going to click to add a bank account and then add a new bank account oh i'm going to select the united states there um, because we are going to add a US bank account. And as you can see, if you scroll through, there is no Nigeria on the list. You cannot be paid directly into your Nigerian account. So if you're Nigerian, you can get US bank accounts from companies like GigPay and Gray and Clever and um, Grabify. And I show how to create these accounts on other videos on the channel. And I'll leave the links in the description. And the USD accounts you get from one of these companies is going to most likely work on your Amazon associate account. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to link my clever USD account. So I'm going to copy the account details. I'm going to enter my bank name. That account type is checking. I'm going to enter in the bank account number from clever and then enter that twice to confirm my bank account number, enter the bank name, which is lead, and then also impute the routing number. Very easy. And once all of these informations are entered, I am going to then go ahead to click on save changes. And once done, I have successfully linked my bank account. So I can always add more bank accounts if I want. But if I go back to my Amazon associates dashboard, you can see that um, it still says that we should provide or submit our payment information. And that's because we have not assigned it to the USD um, payment. So, so now if I go back in, I can then start to um, assign the bank accounts that I've linked to the different currencies. This is a USD account, so I should be linking it to a to the United States, but I'll just for the purpose of this video, I'll link it to all, every single one, and then click on save changes. And then it's going to say that we have now linked our account. So now we have successfully linked, and if we go back to our associate dashboard, we can now see that there are no errors. This account is fully functional we have provided our tax information and payment information and everything is done all that's left is for us to get our three qualifying sales within 180 days and then keep doing what you do to drive traffic and making your affiliate commissions on amazon now creating the account is one thing but if you don't want to get kicked out of the amazon associate program then you want to watch the next video where i go over some of the common things that causes people to be banned and kicked out of the program